have lower viewership. But in the WNBA playoffs, and we'll use the semifinals as, as the example, the WNBA playoff semifinal games where Caitlin obviously is not in it because her team lost are so- <laughs> You asshole. I see you throw that shade. I see, I see you. I see you. I don't do some shit too, I probably asshole. <laughs> Hey, yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body. I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been tuning in and rocking with your boy. The subscriber count is getting up there, guys. We almost to 4K, guys. And I think we're going to be there by the end of this month, man. It's going to be all because of you guys, man, and what y'all do for me. I appreciate y'all. And if you're new to this channel, man, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you know when we drop videos and live streams. We're going to get into this video, man. It's going to be a reaction to me. Uh, listen to Sue Bird talk about the viewers and how them things is up in the WNBA. Let's get this thing going. Viewership numbers with Caitlin Clark are astronomical. She mm, is a big draw. Yeah. She brings in all the things. We know this. We've said this. And yes, no, the yeah, games where she's not playing have lower viewership. But in the WNBA playoffs, and we'll use the semifinals as, as the example, the WNBA playoff semifinal games where Caitlin obviously is not in it because her team lost are so- <laughs> You asshole. I see you throw that shade. I see, I see you. I see you. I don't do some shit too. I probably, asshole. Still breaking records from previous WNBA years are yes. still cracking a million viewers. I believe the record was at like 930,000 overall viewership, but it got up to like one point. It peaked at like one point something. Mm -hmm. So these numbers are- Kaylin, Kaylin Clark games was peaking at like 2.5 million and shit like that. Still really high and they're still really meaningful and they still show and tell a story of the viewership that they is do. being gained in the WNBA. But and yet some people thousand. continue to flip that. Those people, I've seen Stephen A. Smith talk about it. I've mm -hmm. seen Shannon Sharp talk about it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I just don't understand is they work for ESPN. So why are you hating on a product? Are we, what are we calling a product? A platform? What's it called? Product. Yeah. A product, that, a product. ES, that ESPN. That they invest in. Yeah, that's where these viewership numbers product. are coming. It's your product. Yeah, it's your business. <laughs> It's not ESPN's product. The WNBA is an entity of its own that spawns from the NBA. What the hell are y'all talking about? It is not their product. And the product that y'all have over that WNBA was not good enough to talk about. That's what they keep trying to tell y'all. Do you understand that all this viewership that y'all are getting is coming right now? Yeah, y'all got 900,000 people watching this shit. But you know how many people watched this shit last year? 470,000. 470,000 watched this shit last year. It was 654,000 people on average watching the first round. Watching the first round. Second round comes. She not lying. She not lying. That shit, 900,000 people tuned in for the semifinals. She's not lying. So I give her that. But all the other shit you talk about, girl, stop it. Stop it. They're in. It's not that they yeah. can't. And by the way, it's not that they can't be critical of certain things. They can have their opinions. But... That's Close where I, I I don't understand the framing of that. Yeah, you mean that's yeah, where it loses like, me. Nine hundred and you, something thousand people got on their devices and watched the game. Yeah, and that's we have it. Yeah, they did. Two million got on their devices and watched Caitlyn play. What the hell are you talking about, girl? A lot got of into people. Like the NFL Sunday of it. Nine hundred thousand lost people. Like we haven't yeah. even got into that part, but that's what's. I want to say the semifinal game is up like a hundred and thirty percent. Yeah, and that's without Caitlyn. All the games. 130% is what that woman said the semifinals is up to right now. She's wrong. She's wrong. She's, she's wrong, guys. She's wrong. If this shit was 654,000 on average watching this year and it's 470,000 watching on average last year, there's a 39% increase. We don't, I don't know what the semifinal numbers was from last year because they don't have them. But I know, you know what they do have? They have the finals numbers. And the finals numbers were 728,000 people. And guess who played? It was the Liberty and the Aces. The two best teams in the WNBA. The two teams that have something that you want to go out there and watch that can actually entertain you. See, they're not talking about that part. They're not talking about the entertaining part. The numbers increased going into the semifinals because you had the two, the two best teams playing each other. Or the four best teams playing each other. Now you got a real game. All of other games that we saw out there was blowouts. There was blowouts. And the ones that wasn't had the best competition at the first round. 
That was what you were seeing when you were watching these games. The increase has come because the best teams are playing. The two best teams are playing right now. The two best teams. The Lynx and the Liberty. People want to tune in and watch that game because of what happened in the Commissioner's Cup. The Lynx got that game. And the Lynx pulled this shit out last night too. So you know what, Liberty? New York City? Y'all might not be getting y'all no damn win. You got Spike Lee, Spike Lee in the building and Spike Lee. They already tell y'all Spike Lee is bad luck. Y'all better hope and pray that the New York Mets or the Yankees can get it. Let's finish this damn video. I'll be talking too much sometimes. Teams are up. Now, the reason why it, it really, really gets my blood boiling really, really. is because it's the exact same thing we see in every other sport. When I'm going to go what on a mean? limb here, but Which when Messi say? plays, something tells me viewership's the viewership's high. higher. Ticket sales are up. But we're going to use basketball. The f Did she just use the... Did she just use the best player, the best player in soccer? Because y'all not saying that. You didn't say that Kayla Clark was the best player, Sue Bird. Your ass didn't say that. Y'all keep saying that Asia is the best player. See? See, they keep telling on themselves. They keep putting a foot in their damn mouth. They said Asia was the best. Now she want to compare Kayla Clark to Messier? Then that means that Kaylin Clark is the best. Of course, they're going to tune in to watch the best play. Oh, my God. Do you not hear yourself, Sue Bird? You're talking about the best that's playing the game right now. That's why they come to watch. That's why the viewership is up. What the hell are you talking about? Now you got the two best teams playing right now. The numbers are not out for the finals game last night. But I bet you they was way better than last year. I would, I'm sorry. We finished the video. This, this last year, the Celtics and the Mavs were in the finals. That viewership was amazing. It was like five point whatever million. Amazing. Lower five million. than the previous years. How low? Lower it? than when LeBron's in it. How lower, lower than when Steph Curry's in it. Why? And yet, we don't hear anyone shitting on the Celtics and the Mavs. That it was is a not good how this series. Works. It's, it it's was because a good... there's some players that are just so. Bitch, what you talking? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the Boston Celtics has Jason Tatum. They got Al Horford, who people been waiting to see if he can win a damn championship. They got Jalen Brown, one of the most underrated NBA All-Stars that there is in the league right now. They bypass that dude over everything, right? Then we got Porzingis, the unicorn, to come and play. People want to see what was going to happen in that damn game. What are you talking about? People want to see what Luka was going to do and Kyrie Irving. That's multiple stars, multiple stars. Of course, you're going to get that many people watching. What the fuck? Super, what the hell, dude? What the hell? You cannot compare nothing that's happening in the WNBA right now to any other sport. You want to know why? Because this shit has never happened in the WNBA. This is the first time. This is the first time that they had a generational talent like this come through this bitch. Oh, man, I swear. You know what? When I, when I want to watch this damn video, I was going to give Sue Bird credit because she is right. Viewership is up, guys. Oh, my gosh. We were wrong. Everybody keep talking about, hey, viewership has been down since Kaylin been in there, blah, blah, blah. No, it ain't. Viewership has not been down, guys. It's been going up. In fact, it actually went back to the normal viewership that it always has, right? But then it added on to it because all the people who tuned in to watch Caitlyn, you got to understand this. Every single Caitlyn fan that they keep talking about out there is not a racist, right? They're not, a they're not homophobic. They, they, they don't care about none of that shit. They like good basketball, like me. I like good basketball. So when I see good basketball, I am going to tune in. The games where Kayla Clark played in, they were good. Except for the ones where they got their asses beat. That was terrible. Terrible performance. Terrible performance. And I would expect that. It's just like when I would watch Jordan play or Kobe play. If they had a terrible performance, their team going to do bad, all of them going to do bad. I got to expect that sometimes. I expect that from my ex. And y'all should have had too, right? Since y'all already said she wasn't going to make it to the damn WNBA. Y'all had to expect her to be sorry. But she exceeded y'all expectations. And now you sit up here talking about the viewership that's going up. And you not acknowledging the fact that why it's going up. Then you going to throw that shade and talk about, of course she's not there. Of course she ain't there, motherfucker. She lost in the damn first round to the sun. And they lost their ass too. Show ass up. Trying to hate. Just a hater. So transcendent that the viewership's going to be insane no matter what. Sue Bird. 
is not wrong in this interview. A lot of people have been really talking shit about the WNBA. And I was one of them, too, who talked shit about the WNBA. But you got to understand, I talk shit about the people and the teams that I see in the WNBA that suck. Because I'm just like everybody else out there in the world. I'm just a critic, bro. I got a microphone. I got a camera. I got screens and all this other stuff so I can get up here and talk my mind, my perspective on how I see things. And my perspective on how I see things in the WNBA is that if you're not the four teams plus uh, the, the five teams, I got to put the fever up in it. They was one of the good teams. If you're not one of those, or oh, shit, the sixth, the six good teams, because the storm is good too. If you ain't one of those six teams and how they played this year in the WNBA, I don't want to see none of you. I don't want to see none of the other teams play. The teams that are playing right now are, are the, the absolute best teams in the WNBA. That's why viewership is up, man. Viewership is up because you're not watching the Liberty play against the Atlanta Dream. You're not watching the, the damn Lynx play against the, the Dallas Wings or the Sparks. Those were the sorriest teams in the WNBA. You're not watching the play against the Mystic or somebody like that. You're watching the absolute two best teams play in the finals. You're watching the absolute four best team play in the semifinals. That's why it's up 900,000. Because the people that came to watch Kaitlyn play, some of them stayed. You heard what you said, right? You said all them games that, that didn't have LeBron James in them and didn't have uh, Steph Curry in them, the viewership was down. But it was still 5 million. There's still 5 million people tuned in to watch the Boston Celtics and the damn Dallas Mavericks play. And guess what? I was one of them 5 million. And I ain't fans of none of them damn teams. None of them. But it was a good series. And that's what we tune in for. You get viewerships because it's the entertainment value. And the entertainment value across the WNBA is not good. Just like in the NBA. Nobody's tuning in to watch a Charlotte Hornets game against the Detroit Pistons. They're not doing it. Now imagine this shit. Almost every team in the WNBA is the Detroit Pistons or the Charlotte Hornets. And who's, turned to, who's tuning in to watch that? That's what we're trying to tell you. We're not, look, I'm not, because I'm not going to speak for anybody else. I'm not hating on y'all's product. Y'all product is shitty and you know it. You got to, or you just delusional. The people that's been talking to you, they're delusional. This shit is not what it is, but it, it is getting there. And it can be something that it has the potential. But if you keep running off people, because the, the fans that aren't tuning in are just your average everyday workers, families. That love their children. And they don't want to tune in because they want to watch Kayla play. She ain't playing no more. And they gone. They not trolling, y'all. They out of there. The people that's talking crazy about the WNBA now, that's the Twitter finger people. That's the that's that's them. I, I heard Alyssa Thomas say that she had played 11 years, right? And never heard people say the things that she said, to her, that, that they have said to her on social media. Girl, if you don't turn that damn social media off, turn your comments off, stop looking at the shit. You playing basketball right now anyway. That's y'all problem. That's this generation's problem that y'all don't know how to get off these damn social media platforms. Get off your phone. Turn the shit off. Unless you're looking up me. Keep your phone on if you're looking up Chocolati. Go find me. Keep your computers on. Chocolati. Because I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. These women are not accustomed to what they are getting right now. This treatment, this is brand new to them. Brand new to all them women. And that's why it affected them this way. They ain't used to that shit. Can you imagine? You had 470,000 people and you jump up to 654,000. Every game that you play, you got 20,000, 17,000 people in the building where before you only had like five and six. What you talking about? Even in these finals right now, these finals, the game last night had 17,000 people at it. 17,000. It was played in the Barclays. You know how many people attended when it was playing against the Aces? 10,000. 10,000. They play at the Michelob Ultra Center. They didn't move it to the T-Mobile because they knew they weren't going to sell out all them tickets. You guys are entertaining to a certain extent. Just know that. To a certain extent to where eh, the casual watcher might continue to watch y'all if y'all didn't behave the way that y'all did. Look, switch the behavior. Change that shit up. And I'm telling you, the attitudes... And it's going to start from the top to the bottom. And then you'll be able to maintain that viewership. Because a lot of people who tuned in to watch LeBron and Curry play, they watched the Boston and Dallas series. 
you got to understand, their careers are coming to an end. You about to not see LeBron James no more in about a year or two. It's a wrap for him. And Bronny not going to pick up that mantle. Hell no. It was not, they was not meant for Bronny to do that. LeBron James did what he wanted to do. LeBron James got his son in the NBA and he's playing with him. LeBron James said he wants to do that. That guy does what he says he's going to do. Manifestation. He didn't say he was going to win. <laughs> he didn't say he was going to be good. He didn't say none of them parts. Now, if he got in there and like, man, my son's going to come up and he's going to dominate like everybody else. Boy, they'll be tearing LeBron ass up right now. They'll be tearing him up. They, they should be tearing his ass up anyway because his son is playing right now. And he should not be on an active roster. When the season starts, if he's on an active roster, boy, LeBron James, you are the GOAT. You the GOAT. That boy, he... Boy, I'm done. Look, guys, Suberg, you was right to a certain extent, but you got to look at this shit as going back to what it used to be. It's just going back to what it used to be before it was Caitlin was there, but it increased by 39%. That's all it is. You got some new viewers who was watching Caitlin play. Congratulations. Thank her. Look, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Caitlin. All y'all motherfuckers, y'all better start thinking, Caitlin, I'm sick of this shit. Start thanking her. She made this shit better for y'all. You guys, I'm out this thing. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yo, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to become part of Chocolate Crew. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when the boy drop videos and live streams. I'm out this thing, guys. Peace.